in Colorado. We couldn't have asked for a more beautiful weekend, but are you ready for things to heat up? Meteorologist Stacy Donaldson joins us from her home studio. Stacy, 90s in our future. <laughs> Looks like 80s and 90s are headed our way, but in the meantime, it's so beautiful out right now. I have all the doors and windows open in my house and I can smell somebody firing up the barbecue. It smells so good coming through here. Now our temperatures for the next few hours are going to be in the 70s. We'll have 75 by 7 o'clock, 70 degrees by 9 o'clock and 64 degrees as we head toward 11 o'clock tonight. So a nice mild evening as really warm air starts to settle into Colorado. This is what it looks like at Civic Center Park right now. Beautiful skies overhead, just a few high clouds. Otherwise, a nice calm day. Our headlines include heating up tomorrow. Afternoon highs will be near 90 degrees for the next couple of days. And then it'll cool down by the end of the week, but we'll still have temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Right now it's 76 degrees outside, feels like 76 with our humidity at 30% and our winds out of the east at 14 miles an hour. Temperatures mostly in the 70s here for the Denver Metro, a little warmer at Commerce City at 80, 77 in Centennial and in Highlands Ranch with some 50s and 60s toward Blackhawk and Dumont, even Georgetown at 72 degrees right now. Through uh, the high country, we still have temperatures in the 70s, 80s for the western slope around Grand Junction, 81 in Durango, and 70 in Telluride. Now, as those temperatures really heat up across the state, it increases our fire danger all the way from Eagle and Grand Junction down toward Telluride and Durango, even into Alamosa. This fire weather warning in effect until 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, so we're going to be watching for high fire danger and potential fires to develop in through tomorrow. Here in the Denver area, we are not under any watches and warnings. We have a few high clouds passing on through. Uh, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning that just popped up south of Trinidad and is leaving the state. But other than that, not much happening with uh, strong thunderstorms across the state. Tonight, partly cloudy skies. Lows will be in the mid 50s. We'll have 40s for the eastern plains and 30s and 40s for the higher elevations. If you're in Grand Junction, 57 degrees for you. 40s and 50s out west toward Estes Park, Allens Park and Nederland. We'll have 40 in Idaho Springs and then 54 for a low here in Denver tonight. Our around the block forecast includes temperatures in the 70s once we get toward lunchtime tomorrow afternoon. Low to mid 80s by the early afternoon. And we're going to top out around 89 with mostly sunny skies for that afternoon high. Now, if you're hitting the trail tomorrow, maybe a little walk up in the woods near Georgetown would be 50 degrees in the morning, 78 by the afternoon. Nice warm weather on the way. And here we'll be close to 90 degrees for the front range. We'll have some 90s toward Pueblo, La Junta and Lamar, uh, even into Trinidad. Those temperatures in the low 90s there, 60s and 70s for the mountains. In Evergreen, 77 for a high for you tomorrow, 86 in Longmont, and we'll have 89 in Fort Collins, and same here at DIA and in Denver. We'll have 88 degrees on Tuesday with a chance for a few scattered showers, cooling by Thursday, 75 for a high, and then into the low 80s Friday and Saturday with partly cloudy skies. So we'll just get that little taste of summer before those temperatures kind of moderate in through the rest of the week.